CBS4 Tracking Elsa Update. Meteorologist Dave Warren here at CBS4 Weather Control. I want to give you a quick update here. We have new information that came in at 2 o'clock with an intermediate advisory. The latest track will come in at 5 o'clock. Still moving to the west-northwest, almost 30 miles an hour, so very quick forward motion. It is now a tropical storm and will continue to interact with land. Uh, it's good news out ahead of it uh, for anyone in the path because it's weakened a bit and likely will not uh, intensify much as it continues to move to the west north Northwest. Despite that, we have watches and warnings that are in effect out ahead of the storm. Uh, parts of central Cuba under a tropical storm watch, uh, parts of eastern Cuba under a hurricane watch. Nothing for South Florida yet. Likely that will be issued later tonight as we get inside this 48 hour window where we'll be feeling the impacts uh, from Elsa. Uh, there is the latest track that updated to 11 o'clock Sunday morning to Sunday night, moving through Cuba, interacting with land, likely could even weaken some more. Uh, but as as it moves over the Florida Straits, it'll continue to push north. Time-wise, looks like Monday night to early Tuesday, well, we will see the impacts here. Looking at tropical storm force winds developing, especially in the Keys. That area in yellow extends just outside of the track, and that could be impacting parts of the coast there, especially across southern Miami-Dade and into Broward County. It makes its closest approach to the area Monday night to early Tuesday. That's when we could be seeing these squalls with tropical storm force wind gusts and very heavy rain, which could result in some flooding that will continue to move north by Wednesday and Thursday. So the time frame, timeline for these winds to really start to pick up and this will include gusty squalls and tropical storm force winds and even gusts Monday night. There it is at 7 o'clock, moving through the Keys, closest approach to South Florida. Early Tuesday, you'll wake up Tuesday to very gusty wind and squalls around. And then by Tuesday evening, it continues to move to the north. By Wednesday, it is pushing into North Florida. Uh, that is the latest. We will have more updates on CBS 4 News at 6, 7, and 11 or anytime at CBSMiami.com.